and so on and so forth. Here we have the HPLC or high pressure liquid chromatography. In high pressure liquid chromatography, we use what property to separate? We use the property of dissolving in water or polar solvent to, to differentiate between different kinds of molecules. So that's why in this case we need to have uh, water as a mobile phase. No, no, sorry, sorry, for not water. We need to have a liquid, sorry, liquid as mobile phase. Usually the liquid are non-water molecules or non-polar molecules which are hydrocarbons in nature. Okay, because we are dealing with, uh, in, in this kind of setup, we are dealing with amino acid sequence and proteins which, which can be dissolved in these hydrocarbon or organic materials. It cannot be dissolved in water. So we need to have uh, a liquid which are hydrocarbons or non-polar molecules as mobile phase and we can also have a polar materials as stationary phase okay. okay now in this case what we are looking at this is the high pressure pump and through which the pressure is created and you inject the sample in the six port injection valve and the sample again carried out by this pressure uh, which is uh, which is made via this uh, mobile phase molecules and it will carry it from this place towards this place and throughout this it, it will eventually uh, end up with the detector the detector detects it feed in it into a computer screen and um, an illusion is done uh, of the further mobile phase and finally we can see a chromatogram like that okay so the duration of this process is 5 to 16 mi 60 minutes in previous case we also can have 2 to 60 minutes you have the 5 to 16 60 minutes Okay, and the column for this HPLC is more or less that same like the G GC column, but in some cases GC columns are a little bit more higher because they can be coiled. So GC columns can we can find GC columns coiled like that, but the HPLC columns are not coiled out like that. Okay, so what is the basic application? What are the basic am applications for uh, for this uh, using this HPLC? We can use it for for the purity control, for the quality management and uh, certification of certain products, certain drugs, certain pesticides and all these things. You can use it in environmental and pharmaceutical analysis purposes. Okay. So what are the limitations of this using uh, this sample? Solubility is definitely is a limitation of this. So solubility is a limitation. In a, in the mobile phase, no thermal restrictions uh, are there. So we need to have a sample preparation, filtration, and extraction. Solubility in the mobile phase in the is a problem. So if if uh, the molecules we are using, the analyte uh, we are using are non-soluble in water, non-soluble in hydrocarbon molecules, then we cannot use them in HPLC system. That's why we need to use something which will dissolve in hydrocarbon. Because in normal HPLC techniques, we use the non-polar hydrocarbon molecules as mobile phase and polar molecules as stationary phase. But in the reverse case, we use uh, the reverse thing for mobile phase polar and for stationary phase non-polar. Why we use the reverse cases? We have I have discussed it earlier because if we use the hydrophobic in both cases, then they will interact with each other and the separation could not be established. Okay, that's why you need to have the same type. Uh, that have the, the different types of mm, chemical property for the molecules. Okay, why we use the pressure? Because in in case of gas chromatography, we do not need pressure because gas is uh, can have a random flow from one place to another place. But the water cannot. Water have to have. We need to push water for making it transfer from one place to another place. That's why you need to use water. Okay, uh, that's why you need to use pressure for water flow. Now this is the HPLC setup. Here we have the stage for uh, storage for the mobile phase. Here is the mobile phase. Here we have the filtration and all this preparation of LUN mixture is done. Here we have the pump. The pump is uh, placed there to actually generate the pressure. So pressure is generated here. Here the control unit which controls the pressure, how much pressure we need for transferring this uh, mobile phase throughout the column and we have the auto sampler, that auto sampler again load our sample into small parts, into, into those columns, okay, into the columns via those injection ports, we have the six injection port system and we have the column which is placed in this column box. 
temperature is regulated here we do not need high temperature here but we need to have an optimum temperature for carry out these reactions okay because as we know in all these ionic interactions and pro polar and non polar interactions temperature plays a key role okay and also we have a detector here which is uv visible lamp in this case each this is the picture of hpls injector injection port so the six injection port if you injection uh, inject from this place it will go throughout like this and will release from there same thing is here if we in inject it from this place it will out from there okay so this is the thing we can use it now this is the HPLC columns are made up with the stationary phase normally the mobile phase is made up with the hydrocarbon chains uh, in this case the hydrocarbon molecules uh, so they have less polarity and the stationary phase have the more polarity or molecules like uh, SiO2 and Al2O3 aluminum, uh, aluminum oxide and silicon oxide and in the reverse HPLC we have the different scenario okay okay and what you are looking at in this case is only weak interaction between the sample and the stationary phase is required be because we need to have a good interaction of the stationary of uh, that analyte molecules with the mobile phase molecules because we need to carry those mobile uh, those analyte molecules from one place to another place if those molecules cannot be carried from one place to another place using those mobile phase then they will stuck to the stationary phase then the whole system will be blocked so we need to have a good dissolving uh, power for all, for all those analytes we are using in HPLC. So that's why you need to choose uh, the s the mobile phase molecule a little bit more carefully because the mobile phase molecule or mobile phase uh, molecule have to have a characteristic which will dissolve, which helps in dissolving those analytes, which are also the same type in nature. Now this is some in HPLC detectors. Normally, UV visible the detector is used, which is UV visible light detector. And we can also use different detectors like fluorescence detector, a refraction index detector. Though it is a non-specific detector, but it has a low cost. That's why you can use it. Okay, normally, UV visible detector is used. Spectra can be shown, and a chromatogram can be produced. So these are the some examples. We can use it for pharmaceutical purposes, for looking uh, for basic drugs, and we can also use it for distinguishing amino acid sequences. The thalassemia testing can also be done using the HPLC system. Okay, and environmental analysis, which is the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons analysis, can also be done. In case of environmental science, we can also use them to monitor the environmental situations of organic compounds because in water the if the presence of organic compound is higher we can say the water beauty count is higher then the water is much more contaminated so this is the end of our discussion so so what are the basics of all these things we need to have a mobile phase we need to have a stationary phase and we need to have an analyte molecules we need to have an interaction between them and these interactions are very important if one interaction is higher than another then that reaction that thing is favored and we can separate molecules using these these two partitions between themselves okay and a flow is important and the flow is provided by this mobile phase most of the time this mobile phase are made up with gas either or liquids but mobile phase cannot be a solid okay and the mobile phase ca have to have a flow which will f which will helps uh, this which will help the analyte molecules to pass from one phase to another phase in throughout the column and also the mobile phase and also the mobile phase have to have a pressure the pressure can be generated using a pressure pump in case of HPLC we, s we have seen that those pressure pumps and the generation of pressure okay so these are the basic concepts about chromatographic techniques and I hope that's gonna help you thank you